Hey y'all, Wendy here. Friday, May 15th. We're in the Old Testament. We're in Esther chapter 3. I got stuff falling on me from the tree. Alright. Um, King Ahasuerus promoted Haman above all the princes. So the king commanded that all people bow before Haman, but Mordecai, Esther's father, wouldn't bow to Haman. So Haman told the king that the Jews weren't keeping the king's laws. So Haman asked the king to write the Jews that the Jews would be killed <clears throat> for not keeping the king's laws. So the king gave Haman his ring and the silver, excuse me for itching my nose, to pay the people to kill the Jews. So, the king's scribes wrote decrees to the lieutenants, rulers, governors, and the people that the Jews were to be killed on the 13th day of the 12th month, which was called Adar, to take spoil of them for a prey. Okay, then in... Galatians chapter 1 in the New Testament. Paul warns them against false teachings. And then in my um, Uversion devotional, 15 Days of Supernatural Encounters by Jamie Rohrbaugh. God led his people in the Old Testament by clouds and fire. Today God uses his word to guide us. So would be yet another reason, sorry, why um, God's Word is so important. Um, so, it's a beautiful Friday. The birds are chirping. The sun is out. It's not raining. Um, so, I'm trying to stay outside some today to boost the mood. And, um, so I just pray that we will all have a good weekend, um, that we will be able to worship God on Sunday, whether it's online or actually at our churches. Um, send me your prayer requests, um, call me if you need to talk. And I guess I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye.